Coming up later in the show, a man's girlfriend vanishes into thin air in The Vanishing. And coming up next, clever insects from the Amazon transform themselves into the folks next door in Meet the Applegates. Okay, crawlers, rise and move ten. It's imperative that we maintain a believable cover while they infiltrate and sabotage the nuclear power plant. Let's nuclear, Dad. Lesson number one. Most people say nuclear. Next time, get it right. They may look like a typical suburban family, but actually those are extremely intelligent and dangerous giant insects from the Amazon who develop the ability to transform themselves so they appear to be human beings. Then they move into a dream world where there's lots of sugar and grease and fast food and garbage to dine on, a typical American suburb. The name of the movie is Meet the Applegates, and here's what dinner time is like at the Applegate house. Johnny, eat some more sugar. You're still growing. I'm already full. If you don't eat your dinner, you can't have dessert. Did someone say dessert? I happened to find a pile of rancid trash in a dumpster behind the 7-Eleven. That stalker Channing is Mom Applegate, and Ed Begley Jr. plays Dad. The next-door neighbor is played by Glenn Shaddix, and he is the natural arch enemy of the insects because he is an exterminator. His dog captures a large insect that had appeared to be the Applegate's dog before it reverted to being an insect after getting stoned on pot. Look, it's got Spot's collar on it. Another character in the movie is the Applegate's Aunt Bee, another insect, played by Dabney Coleman in drag. He doesn't know that human women don't wear mustaches. Bee Cocorata? Right. That's a woman's name. It says here you're female. You got a problem with that, pal? No, sir. Have you got anything to declare? No. Taxable items? No. Fruit? Nothing. Bananas? Nothing at all. What's that in your pocket? Nothing. Just glad to see you. There have been a whole bunch of movies lately suggesting that the typical American suburban neighborhood or small town is just a thin veneer concealing a hotbed of bizarre secrets. Movies like Mermaids and Edward Scissorhands and the TV series Twin Peaks all seem to think that middle class normality is no more than a cover for unspeakable practices. The problem, I think, with Meet the Applegates is that it doesn't go anywhere with this idea. I mean, okay, so the Applegates are insects. Okay, they eat garbage for dinner. What's the point of this movie? I'm afraid that there isn't any, and so that once we get past a few laughs in the opening scenes where the idea is still new, the film gets pretty dreary. Yeah, I found the same thing happening. I had a, <clears throat> the, the premise is wonderful, and I'm all set to really eat it up, and uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. The, um, there are some very cute lines that, that would make this picture, I suppose, years ago when there were midnight movies and cult films like that playing all the time. This would be the kind of picture you'd go to laugh at at a few cute lines. Mm -hmm. the, the little girl in the Applegate family gets pregnant and she says a great line, uh, I don't care if uh, the baby is a half-breed, I'm still going to have my baby or something like that. Yeah. That's the kind of line that would score with college audiences. But there aren't, there aren't enough of those funny lines and, as you say, the story doesn't have any point to it. It's a pretty big disappointment. Coming up next, a thriller about a couple of lovers torn apart by a kidnapping. The movie is called The Vanishing.